Welcome back everybody, today I will show you how to refresh slash reinstall your Windows XP operating system without losing any files and without having to reinstall any programs. Let's see what you have to know. So I have written a couple of things in the notepad here that you should know. Let me go over them one by one and inform you about some prerequisites and also important things to know. First things first, you will need to input the product key slash activate the Windows XP once again. During the installation, it prompts you to type in the product key, which cannot be skipped. So make sure you have one ready. Next, you will need an OS image, the installation disk with no screens skipped. The particular screens that I'm talking about are visible right now and those are the welcome screen, accept terms screen and the setup screen with repair option that asks you to select the currently installed version of the Windows XP. Also, you should know that any customizations that were made will probably get rewritten and put back to their default values. Also, if something is missing, it will be added back. But the reason I said probably for the customizations is, well, you should test this on your own because there are plenty of customizations that you can make. And if any of them are system related, they most likely will be put back to default values. I have tested this by changing the wallpaper, for example, and the wallpaper stayed as I've set it. So those customizations that are user related will not be removed or changed. However, I actually deleted some font files, cursors and a couple of more things and upon reinstallation all of those were added back. So those are some of the things you should know about. Now I do want to talk about something really quickly. On a bunch of online websites, especially torrents, there are a bunch of customized Windows XP versions. Some of them being for example black version or integral version. So these versions have bunch of customizations. So you should be careful when using and following this method. However, I did find out that for example, integral edition does not have any of these screens skipped. So you can use that particular version to refresh your operating system. If that's the version you are using, I guess. I am using official Windows XP Service Pack 3 OS image. So that's what I'm working with here. You can obviously run a pretty quick test and check all of this out. Now, before we get started, go ahead and prepare your operating system image, burn it onto a disk or maybe even set it up to a thumb drive. Just make sure it is bootable image. So whatever medium you choose, whether it be a disk, a DVD or a USB thumb drive or something else, it's really up to you. Make sure it's bootable and make sure you go into your BIOS and set that particular medium to be the first boot up option. Once you do that, restart your computer and let's get on with the procedure. Really quickly, before we proceed, I want to take notice of the changes that I have made. As you can see, I have changed the wallpaper to this ugly tile thingy. Also, we have a couple of files, that is the games on the desktop being Shadow and Ultimate Doom. I have also installed Winamp, WinRAR and Windows Live Messenger, which by the way boots up when the computer starts up. There is also a text file. I have deleted a bunch of... Uh, fonts and bunch of cursors and couple of more things. So let's check on those after the job is done and we can see if everything is still there and intact. So once the computer boots up, press any key to boot up from the CD. You will be taken to the Windows setup just like you would if you were to install Windows XP operating system normally. Next you see this welcome to setup screen. Here you want to press enter even though there is R for repair that's not really what we want at this point, so just press enter. Next we see Windows XP licensing agreement. Press F8 if you want to agree. After that we get to Windows XP professional setup and in this particular screen the setup has detected that Windows XP professional is already installed and in this very case we want this to happen. We want the setup to detect the current version. In this case it's there, it's selected and I simply press R to repair. At this point setup is simply copying the files to use for the refresh. After this is done the computer will reboot and then when you see the screen to press any key to boot from the CD do not press anything. Now you are taken to the regular Windows XP installation screen where it tells you that the setup will complete in approximately 39 minutes but this is false. Because we are doing a refresh and not a regular clean installation this process will take way less time. Usually for me it took about I want to say 7 minutes. 
Do note that at 33 minutes you will be stopped to put in your regional and language options and also input your product key. The computer will reboot and once again do not press any key and then you will be taken to Windows XP. Please wait and then you are taken to the Windows XP welcome screen animation. So welcome to Microsoft Windows. Now you will notice that couple of things are different and what is different is that couple of screens are missing because we are not doing a clean installation. We don't have to set up our username and stuff like that. I will show you side by side so you can see the screens that are present in the clean installation and you can also see what's present in the refresh process. And that's it. We are taken to our desktop and we can inspect all the things and what was changed. So taking a look at the desktop, we can see that the wallpaper hasn't changed at all. Windows Live Messenger pops up just like usually it would. Winamp is still there, games and the text document is still there. So we can actually conclude that all of our programs and files are in fact present. Also, if I do check for the cursors and a couple of more things that I have removed, you can see that all of those have been added back. And that takes us to the end of this video. I want to say that I was very happy to find out that there, it is possible to refresh Windows XP without losing any programs, without losing any sort of data. Back in the day, I want to talk about it a little bit, we would actually have a couple of partitions or local disks and we would install Windows XP to local disk C and all of our other programs, files and stuff like that would be on local disk D, F and C and basically all secondary local disks. Because once you needed to reinstall Windows XP, all you had to do is reinstall what's on local disk C and all of your other files would stay intact. But yes, I am a little bit embarrassed that I didn't know about this at the time. Now I do and it's gonna be very useful because I will be using Windows XP a lot on my local machine. It is after all my favorite operating system. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for following. Do stay tuned for future videos where I'll be reviewing a bunch of products because that's what I want to focus my channel around. I'll also still do a bunch of tutorials and videos like this on topics that I find really interesting. So I do hope to see you in the future. Stay tuned and stay good. Catch you later.